Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Snowflake build, as I'm gonna call it as of now. Um, so last time we uh, we set down our foundations and uh, some of like the the spikes here, and uh, I think today we're gonna be um, placing our walls down for for like the rest of the build, uh, at least for like the first level. Uh, we're gonna be placing, yeah, we're gonna be placing down. Pretty much uh, this first layer here, uh, maybe like the second layer, it depends on how much time I got. Um, obviously we're gonna just do one of the triangles and not all of them, because I mean, that's a lot. So um, with the last build or with the last uh, time that we built this, um, I haven't really got, well, I haven't really got much done of it else because well this is a building tutorial so you guys gotta see what I do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna place uh, walls uh, like metal walls on each of the corners here and we're just gonna be placing these two high and then these are gonna be uh, up to the top here and so we're gonna be dividing up these uh, these triangles here into two stories uh, the first story is going to be like too high, which is basically uh, what I've done in uh, another world is I've kind of like split it up between whatever I, w I want it to be. Like I've got one of these triangles that I dedicated to crafting and storage and then one of them I've dedicated to farming and such. And I think I will uh, show you guys at the end uh, what that would look like if I if you were to uh, kind of like integrate everything but for now we're just gonna do this um, let's make sure that everything is at the right height uh, we're gonna be placing actually I'm gonna change it to daytime so cheat set type of D to 6 a.m. cuz uh, I right now I got the got the S cube so I should be taking damage but since I'm in uh, god mode I am not taking damage but what I did find is that if you if you are ice cubed in god mode you uh, poop a lot <laughs> so that kind of gets annoying so uh, let's see these two are not at the same height so let's change that let's make sure that everything is at the right height so that is that one and then you as well. And so, like, I, I've done this trick a couple of times now where you have uh, your your half wall first, half wall first, then a uh, kind of like a window here, like this. So, like so. So, this is kind of like window is now at eye height and not at, well, you know, height. <laughs> uh, and it kind of it kind of makes sense for arc like uh, arc windows are super weird it, it kind of assumes that you have a super tiny character which most of you do not uh, there are people who run the tiny tiny characters but most of them do not so if you have that's why I like half walls like something something that is one and a half tall like this is like perfect for for a normal size character so if I were to place like a ceiling here uh, you would see I would not have my head stick out of it and I have some little bit of jumping height but I prefer uh, since this is built up like this uh, I do prefer to stay within like uh, integer numbers or like one two three uh, walls high so we're just gonna be placing a half wall on top of this so that is basically what we do here uh, we uh, this is our, our first level we have uh, like half wall uh, greenhouse glass and then half wall again and on the corners we have all metal and then on this piece we need to raise up these pillars to too high and that makes it all good all good okay so for the next layer, we're gonna be basically uh, redoing the pattern that we got below there. So that means we need to have uh, glass triangle ceilings and tech triangle ceilings. 
And for those of you who don't have tech or don't want to be spending all that uh, precious, precious element, um, you can replace tech with uh, with stone because basically we're we're using like the white here, uh, and I think stone comes the closest to that color. Um, the problem I have with using metal is that metal, uh, if you paint it white, uh, it still looks very, very, very gray. Or it basically doesn't change color at all, which is something that is uh, a fault of Arc, uh, of, its, of its painting system, that some textures just don't color as well as some others. And uh, yeah, it's kind of why I like tech a lot. Uh, I have never built in tech, in a single player because or in a multiplayer because it it costs a ton of money or a ton of element and <laughs> up until like aberration there was no real way of getting element easily and so yeah you kind of just were left on your own devices to uh, to get it so let's see let's do uh, where are those two things there we go so i if you guys hear, I have a little bit of a cold. Uh, I blame a lot of, for, uh, I blame the New Year's, kind of, kind of like all the people uh, at work, they wanna give you best wishes, you know? What did I press? I press X. That is so weird. Why did it break? So if I press X and I'm looking at this, it breaks it. Or is that like a... No, that's... That's so weird. Is that new? In admin mode? You press X and it makes everything blow up? Because I didn't know that. Hang on, let me get into my keybinds. Where is X? X is prone. X is Dino Air Brake. Weird. Okay, so if, if you are in admin build mode, apparently X breaks things. <laughs> uh, breaks the thing you're looking at. This is interesting. It doesn't give you materials or anything, so I, I guess that is cool. I guess? It's kind of tricky if you play, press C, though. If you're trying to press C and you miss. Um, so, okay, let's see. We're gonna be, I think, doing like this inside now. So let's place, again, metal railings. Uh, nothing too fancy. So let's do this. Make sure everything is at the same height, is also facing inward. So you wanna have like something blue. A uh, little bit of blue. It's blue greenish. It's kind of weird uh, color. Uh, that one is wrong because I saw it flip again. So you want, if you want to have a reference, you want the feet on the inside foundation. If you look at it. Okay. So from there we grab some tech railings. And we're gonna be placing those on this part here. Kind of going all the way. So I'm gonna keep like this area kind of open so you can like kind of look outside. And it, can, it what it does is it kind of creates like a little bit of a, a change of uh, change of feeling to, to the build when you walk through there. So let's just switch everything to a Half wall again, and there we go. Okay, so that is that part. Uh, oh, I missed some parts. Dang it. And then we grab our metal railings again, and I, I like using metal railings for this, but we're just gonna be placing like uh, this kind of like triangle here with their the cutoff end there. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of weird. 
but this is kind of like your prime place to place your turrets or anything so if you have if you don't have a shield generator or you're afraid that people want to raid your base or raid your uh, your main doorway uh, that is kind of where you uh, why you would place your turrets there they also protect like this area from invasion so that is kind of nice and you can place like any turret you want I uh, don't think a tech turret fits but like the auto turrets and all that kind of stuff that just fits in there and I think it just looks nice because let's face it that's kind of why I'm building this because it looks nice hi wolf I had a wolf is outside of the tech area so there we go I think that is kind of like the last piece nope it is not so then come on I'm now afraid to press X while I'm building this. Holy crap. Okay. There we go. And then the rest is going to be kind of like similar to what we did already. Is we're going to be placing greenhouse and then metal railings. Up to too high. Hello, Yudi. I hear you screaming. So this one is wrong. Apparently. Nope. That's also wrong. Is he coming after me or no? I was gonna say they shouldn't be able to see you from inside of a tech shield. There we go. That's the last piece. Nope, it's not. God dang it, I cannot count for the life of me. I need six everywhere. Okay, from there, uh, to put a cap on this, we're gonna be placing a row of uh, tech triangle ceilings on the outside, and then a row of, uh, of glass triangle ceilings on the inside. And then once I've done that, I think we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna do a BRB, I think, because I need to uh, place walls for all the other parts. So let's do, oops, that's two in one place. Uh, pick up. I guess I can now press X though. Because I don't really care if there's resources that are lost. So like this. Are we there yet? Last side. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna be um, copying that over to all the other three, and then once that's done, I will bring you guys back with uh, that result. Okay, guys, and we are back, and this took me a little longer than I expected because I had a blue screen while I was doing this, so I had to kind of like redo everything we recorded and what I did before the blue screen so um yeah that was a thing uh hope that doesn't happen again but uh as you guys can see like uh, it's all painted it's all done and dusted like i even kind of like took over uh the pattern that was below with the glass and uh, painted that cyan um and everything else is painted in white and now what we're going to do is we're going to be working on our front doors and doors is actually plural. So we're going to be taking our uh, dynamic gate here and we're going to be set it by two, two by two. And we're just going to be kind of like lining this up with this line. I know uh, some people prefer to do this like with a ladder and such. Uh, I'm stubborn and I kind of like doing it this way. So let's just place that in there uh, make sure it's kind of like aligned it seems fine so let's then finish crafting I think I have everything yeah I do and now we can place the inner gate make sure that that is tech and I have had it that it wasn't tech and then I had to replace everything so make sure it is tech and there we go F and G Align with line. This is quite 
the most finicky part, but it's kind of doable. It's really doable. And then you can kind of like use uh, use the points of the triangles to uh, to make sure that your pillars are in place. And then finish crafting. So then that and tick. There we go. And then the last one. There's some pretty mammoths out there. Like the green, it's all still like Christmassy colors. I don't think the event actually ended yet. Uh, to be honest, I have been uh, playing some other games. Uh, not much art lately. Uh, so like two by two, again. Um, yeah, not much art, art lately. It's kind of like what you guys saw is what I played in arc this past week uh with like well you have we've had new year's and we have we've had uh, well basically just new year's and with work and everything so yeah that's kind of it we have now our gates in so it's starting to look a little bit more like a actual functioning base um where no one can get, actually get into whatever we're doing here, but we're, well, let's let's just start uh, building our next layer here, and so we're gonna be doing something uh, a little bit different. Uh, if you guys remember my first uh, my first aberration build, uh, which is called the RGB base on my channel, uh, I had. And I this idea for that building already uh, but I never actually executed it because it kind of looked funny on that build so I didn't do it well then let's see I think we want this one that's not right like there's so many snap points for these triangle ceilings for these triangle roofs it's kind of really ridiculous how many there are so we want the one where there is a little bit of a gap here as you guys can see like there is so many snap points and it doesn't always go to the snap point it says it's gonna go so i kind of try to limit the, the amount of triangle roofs i use uh, but once you get once you get like uh it in once you get like this first layer in, then it's going to be smooth sailing. So we're going to be doing this for all the uh, all the parts ab above the doors. This place, all four of them, and it's kind of funny. Like this base, this base isn't that big for what I normally do. It's it's pretty sizable. Uh, Again, the challenge was to to stay within a tech generator uh, area, but keeping it without with inside of a shield gen is I I think more useful. Uh, obviously, you have like this part that can get attacked, but this is pretty heavily fortified with metal and such, and you can even like if you want it place another uh, row of metal uh, in here, so cap that off. And so no one can actually get into your base proper. And I mean, it's kind of nice. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, building this up until you reach the point. And this is kind of going to give us the idea of uh, of how high or how tall our, our building is actually going to get. Um, it is going to be fairly tall. Um, basically because, uh, well, what, what you're going to see shortly is that it's it has a bit of a footprint. So I don't know, wait, why is this not supported? Wait a minute. Uh, structures, tech, foundations. kind of wonder if these foundations, these like these over here, are not connected to my building. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Is so weird. It's always weird when that happens. But why are these connected though? Take floor. Take floor. Like these seem connected. 
but they aren't. Let's see about this side. And like this, and like that. Okay, so it's the same on those two sides. Hmm. Okay, let me just... Okay, so the problem is now fixed. I had to uh, replace the some of them with their S plus counterpart, um, which is actually, it's all right. Uh, I kind of like this one better. That's because the side texture is pretty cool. So, um, yeah, all the all the triangles are, are now in. So you're gonna get like this shape. Well, hang on, let me let me turn off the uh, the shield gen here, so we can actually see what we're doing. So we're gonna get this kind of this kind of a shape going. Uh, it's just pretty. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, I I gotta say, like the top view is kind of what what is driving this build <laughs> mostly. But you guys can see like what. What we got going on is we got this, these pyres going on, and then this point here. I think uh, in the later stage, uh, if we're gonna be doing an outer wall, uh, which is something I haven't designed just yet, uh, if we're gonna do an outer wall, we're gonna be extending these foundations out and then create some kind of hexagon shape with it. I think that could look very, very cool. And so, I think for the next part uh, is gonna be uh, doing like the next um, kind of like the next floor here. So what we got here is I want to be placing some. Uh, oh hi! Dang it! You just had to walk in, had you? Oh, there's another one inside here. How did you guys get inside, actually? Oh, you just walked over there. Did I... Oh, we lost power. That's all. Awesome. These dire wolves, they're everywhere. Okay. Hang on. Cheat. Players. God dang it, can I type? Players only. Cheat. Destroy. My target. This is what the. Uh, this is what the gun should do. Okay, what else? There are so many dire wolves. Can I just do cheat, and destroy, wild dinos? Goodbye. No breaking my glass. Thank you. Uh, glass. I should probably just be in players only all the time. Or probably not. <sighs> well, that was a thing. Dang it, why did I have to nom on my glass? That's so rude. So rude. Okay, so where was I? Uh, I was doing this. I was doing this. I was going to be all happy about it until the wolves attacked. So I'll pick this up. Okay. And then on these parts, we're going to be placing railings. Same thing as below again. Uh, I want them on the top. Because these are now snapping to the walls on the bottom, which I don't want. I mean, that was a, that was a showcase of why you always keep, keep the shield gen on instead of turning it off just for looks. Crap, dang it. 
Look at all look at all the packages here. Like it's super crazy. How many things spawn here? Okay, so switch from all to walls. And then I think or I know the next step is gonna be to place two or three. I always forget. I think it's three. Because you want to be aligned with that over there. So three greenhouse walls up. And this part doesn't really have a purpose other than being just a part where you can walk through everything. That just looks cool. I'm gonna replace this. And then grab our pillars again. We're gonna extend those two with two. Like this. Okay. So now uh, we have this part. We're gonna be grabbing our tech ceilings again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be placing the tri uh, an outer triangle for our build here. So we place it like this. And just from point to point really. Without messing up too much. And this is kind of where you where you're gonna spend most of your tech triangles. It's this is the most expensive part I I, I do say. We have one more side of our triangle to go. And then this part has to be, I think, two. Two like ceilings thick. So this one more triangle here. And then you get this shape. Nope, you don't because I missed a spot or a side. And there we go. So you get kind of like the more triangle appeal to it. Um, this might, from the side, this looks r a bit big for now. But we're gonna be fixing that soon. Uh, it's all good, it's all good. Okay, so then uh, what I want to do, I think I want to be looking at how much time I have left for this episode. Uh, it's because I don't want to be going over the 30 minute mark, which I've been doing normally. I know, I know, but we've been do doing a lot of building already. And I just want to make sure it's a nice bite-sized chunk. So let me get back to that shortly. Okay, so we're on a good 28 minute mark here, which is all good. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna be uh, finishing up like the walls on the triangles here, uh, and just we're just gonna be placing them from from the top down. Uh, in this case, because there is no other way of doing this, uh, we're just gonna it's all gonna be greenhouse here. So just like this, and then these are your S plus uh, slope walls, I believe. And just make sure that anything you snap it to is S+. Uh, hang on, let me show you guys. Because if it isn't S+, uh, this might have been something you found out as well uh, while building. But if it isn't S+, and you do this, and then I think it's like this. See how there's this huge gap there? That's because the snapping points just don't align uh from s plus to uh, to vanilla so just make sure that whatever you're placing actually we're picking that up uh whatever you're placing and you're trying to do a triangle ceiling below it it has to be s plus otherwise you get gaps so that is one of the triangles um yeah this is basically a really easy and simple thing like this and then get the good one 
I was gonna say the right one, but I don't even know if this is the right one. No, this is the left one. And this is the right one. Here we go. And then the last piece of our triangle. goes like a so. Okay, well, I think that is going to be it for today. Uh, we're, I'm just going to be moving these pillars up just because I can and because I want to. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy uh, watching me build this, uh, this huge contraption, <laughs> um, just let, me, let me know via the via the comment section or if you if anything was unclear if I need to show anything more uh, just let me know it's all good I will be looking in the comments and ask uh, answering any questions also if you did like the video please just hit the like button it really helps me out and lets me know that you are enjoying what I'm building here and uh, I will see you guys all in the next one so bye guys